Hi, my name is Malik Sampson, and I'm a social marriage and family therapist at hearyou.org, and I'm here today in partnership with Brother Be Well. And I'm here to talk to you about substance abuse disorders. But before I go into what substance abuse disorders are, and as well as give you more insight on it, I wanted to say that this video is not intended to diagnose, treat, or give you a full scope of any mental health disorder. So as I'm speaking to you about substance abuse, it would definitely be a brief overview about just what is substance abuse and how to spot some of the things and if someone is having a substance abuse issue and what are some of the symptoms. And with that, I wanted to also add, if you or anyone you know are going through any type of self-harm or suicidal ideation, please reach out to 911, reach out to your local emergency contact, or reach out to the um, crisis hotline and text at 741-741. So um, with that being said, I wanted to go in and talk a little bit about substance abuse. And substance abuse is a lot of times you just have this idea of drug and alcohol abuse, right? But what is abuse, right? Because people need drugs for prescription drugs to help make them feel better. There's recreational drugs that you can use. And there's, there's also alcohol that is there where you can go freely buy it if you're of age. So when does it get to abuse? So abuse comes in when it's being misused and when it's being when these substances are being used in a way that they're not intended for consumers to use and it can cause a lot of impairments when it when these substances are being abused and some of those impairments can be failure to meet some responsibilities um failed social relationships health issues and like and they also cause disabilities so just to give you a few examples of these things, one, when it comes down to failure to meet responsibilities, if you are in a state where you can recreationally use marijuana, but you using marijuana is impairing your, uh, your abilities to get work turned in or to go into work or show up for work, that is a sign of that you're having a substance abuse issue because of the effects that it's having on you as well as the amount of usage. Another example, social problems, social issues within your relationships with other people. If, you know, if you drink to the point of where you're having issues and arguments and things with people around you so often, and it's comes, it's become common, um, a common theme, it can be very difficult to maintain social relationships with people because of this. And this is another way to kind of spot out some substance abuse issues. But it's important to remember that all drugs can be misused, whether it's nicotine or caffeine, right? These are all substances can be misused, re recreational or not. And nicotine is actually the most abused substance out there. So it's just because it's something that's legal and it seems as like not that big of an issue because you can just go buy it and it's recreational doesn't mean that it's not a problem. So just keeping that in mind as well that it, it's, it's so many different substances out there when it comes to substance abuse and paying attention to the signs and the effects of someone that you believe is going through substance abuse. There's several substance abuse clinics out there and I have worked at them and I know that they can work well. So I'm an advocate, I'm biased, but I'm an advocate for them. So I just wanna leave you with that information. And as always, I'm Malik Sampson and brother be well.